about 30 and going on 30. Yeah, that's why I am. Right, so, you've got, so you've got the wrong <laughs> film. 30 with Jennifer Garner. So you've got the wrong film and the wrong actress. Good start. <laughs> really good start. I okay. can't believe you haven't seen that film. Dirty, flirty and driving with Dan Hathaway. I just renamed it in my head. That's all. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm going senile. I'm going to Yeah, baby brain. Uh, and baby brain. Yeah. So we've got some party food in front of us. The classic. Like you'd have this as a, like, I think kids party food is the best it's spread elite. of food you can possibly get. Like when you go to kids party, you've got cold pizza, cold chicken goujons, chicken nuggets. The best best time is when they've got an array of chicken, of, of mm. battered Bread, chicken. Breaded chicken. Breaded chicken, goujons, nuggets, maybe even like, I quite liked, do you ever used to have those little fish, they were fish shaped, but they were like fish cakes. Yeah. Oh, they were so good. Yeah, with salad cream. Chicken dinosaurs. Mm. Party rings, crisps, a yeah. lot. I know, this selection of party food has really got me going. I can't stop eating it. I love party rings. Thank you for sorting it out. No, it's no problem. Kind, I came in early this morning and sorted all this out. I put Thank all the you. balloons behind you. Thank you. This hat is very special because um, this used to be my dog's uh, birthday hat. Um, but obviously he's passed away now. So now it's been passed mm. down to me. RIP, brother. It's now my birthday hat. Mm-hmm. Looks good on you. That is like so it. tight on me, and now I feel like a bad mum because this must have been so tight on him. Yeah, quite. But he though. just had to put up with it. Yeah, bless him. He <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless. All right, P. Oh, right, so yeah, we've got a few surprises for you today. I've got a few things for you. Okay. And there's another big surprise. Okay. So I've got M here, a a nice, nice Why birthday bag, full of birthday stuff. Here we go, Bubs. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Wow. Oh, tinfoil. Yeah, I thought it was a nice personal touch. And it was really easy to wrap this morning. It took me about 10 minutes. Oh, Not great. Even that. So that's all my expensive tinfoil. No, no, I bought new foil. I bought new foil. Oh, oh tinfoil was... That tinfoil cost me £8. Hey, this one cost me 4 50 It's a good foil. Oh, this is a good one. This is a, this is a wearable. <laughs> what is it? Open it. I thought you could wear it in LA. Is it a birthday sash? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Same, 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 same way. There's <laughs> <laughs> the clip on it. So she's got a birthday sash. Well, it's... <laughs> So <laughs> that's actually so funny. Pregs, like Greg's. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. I can see that. <laughs> oh, so baby, thought, that's really thoughtful. Is it? I, yeah, no, it is. It is. No oh, problem. Oh, Pregs. Yeah, wear that on the plane and all around in and LA. On the on the tube. Yeah, that's your badge now. That's your your pregnant badge. Yeah. Uh, nice, isn't it? Nice. No. Yeah. We really like that. Okay, so we're on to the next tinfoil parcel. You said you're prone to it. So I've got, I didn't say I'm prone to it. I've I got, said it, I could, <laughs> could be. I use some file cream. I've got file cream. Anusol wasn't cheap, that. Six pound for anusol. Shrinks piles, yeah. relieves discomfort and soothes itching. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually am going to take that because you never know. You know Exactly, you never know. You never That's know. a very practical present, some that anusol is, cream. Thank you. No problem. Did you have to ask someone in the shop for that or did Correct. you find it? Yeah, no, it wasn't on the floor. I had to ask them <laughs> How did that. you ask them? I said, have you got any anusol? Oh, you know what you're looking for? I've used it before, yes. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Does it sting when you put it on? Nah, it's all right. It's got a strong smell well, it to it. just evaporates it? Yeah. Does it work it, for you? It worked for me. Yeah, better than that weird cream we got from the Moroccan lady. Hey, <laughs> you leave her alone. <laughs> right, now, oh, this is a good one. This is mainly for me, kind of, but I just thought you should see it. Is it sexy underwear? Um, No. It's not for you. Come on, now. It's sea monkeys. Oh, the gay. Yeah? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow. You got your own now. It's a sea monkey ocean zoo. Wow. Yeah. How, what do I do with it? Uh, well, we'll have to set it up. So we'll have to... We'll have to we'll do have they to... jump around? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, so cute. Thank you. Yeah. Are, are you happy with that? Is that a good I just present? don't know what it is. Sea monkeys. Are there little things in there? Don't shake it around. They're, they're living. There's, there's, what? They're alive. Pass it here. Pass it. See, it's just our water, it says. What? World, world's only instant pets. It includes a, a zoo. Oh, look at that. 
You've been spoiled. Is it rotten. bugs? It's not bugs, it's sea monkeys. Look at them on the front. Look how cute they look. Look at him just jumping out of his egg. I think they're in eggs. So there's eggs in there. You put them in the water and then they just and they so just they're jump not alive. Out. Well, they will be when you put when you put them like the, the fake meat. alive. No, they're not fake. They're real. What they're going to be breathing? Oh yeah, H two O just that water, babes. No, that's disgusting. That's a that's fucking disgusting. birthday gift to you. How dare you? You. Where's are, that even going to go? That's very very. Where's up. that going to go? Because it's not well, going in my utility well, room. Oh, we'll put it in the bedroom next to us. Yeah. I'm so confused. That's very ungrateful. I'm so confused. They cost a lot. They, oh they were gosh. £8, they were. Are you going to tell me how much everything costs? He loves doing this. He no, every, I didn't. I didn't. He, he does this with everything. <laughs> they were not cheap. Mm. Oh, you're going to love this. This one's a good one. I think you're going to be over the moon with this. I hate these sponges. What? I They're hate like, these sponges. everyone on TikTok loves them scrub daddies. You, you're quite being quite ungrateful here. That's going to scratch everything. It says on the front, we don't scratch, we don't smell, we clean really well. You love that. So it doesn't smell. That's a box tick for you. doesn't scratch. And look at them. Look how happy they look. To describe to the people Tom, who can't see. Tom Sandoval has these. Does he? Yeah. If Tom Sandoval has them, we like them. They're little faces. They've got cute little faces on. They're they, called, what are they called? Scrubby daddies. Okay. Thank you. You're going to love them. They're gonna, once you start using them, I think we're scrubby daddy for life. Okay. This one? Yeah, do that one. This is a good one. <laughs> Happy birthday, babe. Don't eat it all at once. That's just fucking like disgusting. <laughs> it's a tin of, it's a tin of chili it's con chi carne. It's a tin of chili con carne. I bet that'd be good. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can have it. Don't give your birthday gifts out, okay? These are, these are your it. pile. Sit on. Well, no, that's for you. Sit on the chili con carne. You and might, this you, is my pile. You might want it. The only thing you've, you've been grateful for you is... You don't listen to anything I say, does I it? am. You don't. You don't take notice of anything I say. All of these presents are for him. Is there one more in there? Yeah. What's that Ooh, one? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. Practical. You'll like this one. Ah. Uh, Epsom sea salt, bath salt even. Yeah, to replace the ones I, I took. To replace that whole bag you used <laughs> for that one shitty bath you had one time. Yeah. Two, Thank two, you. two or three cups. Thank you. This is my favourite one. That's your favourite one? That's my favourite Okay, one. nice. <sighs> Look at you, you've been spoiled rotten. Oh yeah, now open your card please. Pretty lady, the card says. Yeah, that's you. That is me. Okay. You're going to like this card. I picked it specifically for you. It's one day of the year you'll get this. Oh. What does it say? Read out on the front. Read, read oh the front. Show, like, show, it's show like a whole essay in there. I, I was going to read it to you. Sh okay. Show, what the front, show everyone the front. Okay, the front. it says, Mummy from your little superhero. Uh, that's because that's Cam's my little superhero. That's me, mate. Captain America at the front. You're going to read it? I'm going to read this out to you. Okay. To my beautiful, amazing, sexy, one of a kind girlfriend. I'm so proud of the woman you are and the mother you're about to become. You fill my life with happiness. You always bring a smile to my face and I honestly couldn't imagine doing this journey without you. You've changed me for the better. My life has been nothing but positive over the last three and a half years. You've been there for me every step of the way. So now is my time to be there for you and to support you in every possible way going to this next chapter. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Happy birthday, Bubaloo. Love, Zaddy Cam. That's going to get a tear in my eye. <sighs> oh, I love you. Thank you. That's okay. The other words in there that weren't mine were super kind, super nice, super lovely too. <laughs> of all the heroes in the world, the coolest one is you. Happy birthday, mummy. <laughs> oh, um, th thank you, son. And the surprises don't stop there, babe. Really? We've got one more for you. Take oh. this. I love this card. Okay, so I need your... And I don't even like Avengers. Wait, is that what they're called? That is that one, then. It says yeah. in the bottom right, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I've got you one more surprise. This one's on my phone. Um, so, obviously, you are a big Vanderpump Rules fan. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to reach out to one of them and, and, and get a little message for you. Shut up! So, if you just, <laughs> if you just press play on that... <laughs> Oh my god, is that Jax Taylor? Press play on it, he's got some, some nice words for you. Hey Emily, how are you? It's your favorite Vanderpumper, your number one guy in the group, your favorite villain, and well, your new neighbor. That's right, my new show, The Valley, which start, started last week. 
Sorry, I had to do a shameless plug there. But anyway, so Cam, uh, Daddy Cam reached out to me and says that you're 28 weeks pregnant. You're worried because you can't swim and you're scared of water. And when the time comes uh, to put your baby in the pool, you won't uh, be able to do it. Listen, there are so many great schools. Uh, we put our son, our, we do swim with our son in our backyard too, but we have uh, swim school that we go to every Saturday and there's so many schools that you can do and I don't know maybe you can have Cam do it instead and like you can watch him or I don't know if you can go into like knee high water with the baby but like so there's so many um, alternatives so I hope things will work out I think it'll be okay uh, Cam reached out to me and said like he's just really really worried about you but uh, don't don't be scared there's so many other things that you got uh that are coming up. This is a very small it, thing. Like I said, there are so many about. great swim schools swim. Um, around, and I'm sure Cam will take care of the swimming for you. But uh, everything's going to be okay. you got a lot of other things going on in your life. The last thing you need to worry right now is about swimming. So just enjoy <laughs> being pregnant because it goes no! by fast. Get a lot of rest um, because once that baby's here, life is about to change <laughs> for the better, I promise. You. Anyway, Emily, take care. You're going to be just fine. Daddy, Dick. Daddy Cam, thank you so much for thinking of me, man. I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, if there's anything at all that you guys need, please let me know. Take care. He thinks she can't swim. <laughs> In the message I put, my girlfriend's 28 freaks, 28 weeks pregnant. She can't swim. She can't swim. She's afraid of water and she's worried about taking her child in the pool. Please give us some words of motivation. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. How much did you pay for that? He yeah, was, qu- he was quite anyway. expensive. I had to get 24 hour delivery on him. And he pulled through. He Did pulled he? through. Thank you. Thank you, Jack Thanks, Taylor. Jax. Thank you for your Oh, advice. my God. Now, if I ever meet him. So, at least that's an icebreaker if I do meet him. Did, did you take any of his advice for the swimming in? I can swim. I'm you a good can't. swimmer. You can't. Why, otherwise, why would I have got you that? Knee high, he said knee high water is I good. Know. You get the little pools. Or he said just leave it to me. Or we'll go to a school and you can learn with, yeah. with, with our boy. Yeah. I mean, thanks, Jax. But I won't be taking that advice. <laughs> I was thinking about what to say for ages, and I was like, "Yeah, this is better." I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna do a birthday message, and I thought, "Nah." Yeah. Let's get him to say you can't swim, Thank and you. you're scared of water. That's really thoughtful. Do you know what? Today's set of presents have actually been probably the most thoughtful what? you've ever given me. Really? Yeah. Because okay. like last year, you just booked a spa. No, I got you. Got you a hoodie. Yeah, but that's not thoughtful. I'm I, saying these I, are thoughtful. I got that. I've got that book for you that I fill in every year with new pages. Yeah, but have do. you filled it in this year? We'll have a private birthday. Of course, that'll be filled out. Oh really? You're gonna get that do. done by the time I come back from LA, are you? It only takes about an hour, babe. Okay. Yeah. But my opinion is these are most okay. thoughtful. Okay. You know, compared to a hoodie and a spa day. And the van, the pumps was a nice touch. Yeah, that it? was a really nice touch, and he now knows that I exist. Yeah, I think he he might have actually known it was it, it, who we are. Cause, Why? Because um. I've had to cut. I had to cut that down a little bit. Cause Why? He spoke for about three minutes. Um, because he was on about. It. He said like, "Oh, we've got a podcast too." And obviously, when <gasps> I, bu- I booked it, on, I booked it on my Cameo account. So he must have seen. I don't know. I'm. I might be wrong. But he might have seen my picture. Oh my I, god, I he knows who it. I am. And he said, "When we, whenever we come down into his restaurant and stuff, I'll show you the full video later." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that. Yeah. He's invited us to his restaurant. On, on Jax's. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is it the best birthday ever? I, will, I, I, did, I did try and get Lisa Vanderpump, but she was not available for cameos. So, oh, what a bitch. I know. When I first started this industry, I went on cameo and I quickly deleted it. I had some weird requests over cameo. The thing is, you kind of just got to say it. The worst is the ones where you've got, um, like, grill someone. You know, and they're like, oh, yeah. can you say my friend's like a piece of shit? And you're like, oh. Oh, do you know that old guy that does the cameos that shits and sandwiches and eats them? You know about that guy? What? Yeah, it's this old guy who is like, he got famous from doing them cameos. And um, shitting in. Yeah, my friend did it for um, my other friend's birthday. He got he, he says the same thing. He's like, oh, happy birthday, so and so. Like, this is for you. And he shits in a piece of bread, folds it, and eats it. What? The you don't, you know fuck? that guy? No, I don't. Yes, you do. I would have got you that otherwise if I'd known. Oh, God. And he like drinks his own piss. He's so. What a, what a but freak. he seems so normal. That's, he's not though, is he? No, obviously not, no, but it's just like, how, how much are you making off that? He's got making know. quite a bit, I reckon he charged quite a bit for that, because that's like a, his day's right enough after yeah, that, when you eat your like shit. it's a bit like money, E. coli. I don't know, if someone paid me, all right, if I was getting paid. 60 quid a pop to eat your own poo. <laughs> nah, not 60. I reckon like, pay me five grand and I'll do that. Whoa, 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 uh-huh. back up. No, maybe I'll 5,000 pounds, at how cheap you are. I'd another zero, 50, 50 grand. 50 grand. I'd, you can't even it. pay me 50 grand to eat my own shit. 500,000 for you to do it. 
I'll pay you 500,000. What, one bite? No, you got to eat the Why whole... are we talking about poo? It's my birthday. I don't want to talk oh, sorry, about poo. Sorry, I don't okay. want to talk about poo. No more poop. Actually, I've got some very exciting news, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to tell people that? Okay. Um, so, well, didn't start off so exciting. I will just, just paint the picture here. Um, on Friday, it was my dearest nan's funeral yes it was um she had been suffering with alzheimer's and dementia for the past six years and it was she lived with us so you know watching her every day deteriorate slowly it was hard um so yeah she finally lost the battle to that um a couple weeks ago and it was her funeral on friday Mm. um and i think it was just a very emotional day you know it was emotional in a good way as well like just celebrating her life and like my whole family were there um, but then later that night, we were supposed to go for dinner. Yeah, um, and you weren't hungry. And I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah, we actually got in the car, didn't we? And yeah. On the way there, and you were like, well, do you want to go or not? And I was like, not really. So then we turned back around, and I just, I guess I was just in my feels a bit, you know, I was just a bit emotional, and then just uh, things that were, had been buried under the surface had started coming out, and, you know, it got us into a bit of a heated discussion, and yeah. I started crying and saying, you know, how... I know I joke about it, but how like the lack of sex thing really has got to me. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I cried some more. And then- You didn't cry that much. It's making me look really weird. And then next thing you know. No, 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 let, no, hang on. Right, let me pay it. Cause it so was, lay, it was, what I'm trying no, to say, no. I'm just giving some friendly advice here. If you want that dick, just cry. No, you've made me look strange now. You've made me look like you started crying. I'm like, yeah, that gets me going. No, what happened was. No, I've got, a, I've got a sympathy shag. No, you didn't. I told you, I told you it was never meant to happen, but we had a nice sensual, I gave you a sensual massage. No, you didn't. Yes, you, I you did. You gave me a facial. And I gave you, I massaged your legs and your belly. Oh. Okay. Which that wasn't that wasn't what did it for me, but it, just one thing led to another, and, and we 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 had a nice night, and and yeah, we was yeah, that's that. So but yeah, I it, don't get off. Short, on, long I don't story get off short, on, it was a sympathy shag. No, it wasn't. Long story short, I don't get off on crying. Anyway, we had sex for the first time since being pregnant. Yay! Thanks. Um, I love that. I love and that. he tried. That to get on top of me. Oh, and well, do we have to go to this? And I, was, I, and I said to him, I was like, oh, no, I, was like, I don't think that's a good idea because, you know, I didn't want him to get a flop in case the baby started kicking or something. <laughs> so I was like, let's just try it on the side. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, was like, it wasn't the best, but... It was all right. Yeah. It was okay. Did the job. Did the job. Did that's the that, job. That's that nice. Yeah. No, 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 no. That is not it. We get one more token. My like, birthday. One more sympathy. <laughs> your birthday, yeah. Well, we'll go. Uh, yeah, we're going somewhere nice. I'm taking you somewhere nice for your birthday, so that would be nice. She, okay. she needs to cry again, and I'll be good. There you go. In terms of you know giving advice for other pregnant ladies out there, and what's safe and what's not safe in sex. Um. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I would probably definitely, definitely say missionary is not the one. No. That's not, that wouldn't work. I don't think it's good for either parties because no. it's not the sexiest for you looking down no. on your baby. No, that's a bit for me. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just not the comfortablest for me either. But definitely, uh, so side and doggy. Side and doggy. It's, side and doggy what, was good. That's what we did. I'd recommend that. That's what we did advice. Yeah. Um, that's all we tried. So that's all I can really suggest. I wouldn't know what the, what the positions were safe. I'm sure, I'm sure. seated, seated, seated on, on the birth ball. Yeah, birth ball. <laughs> birth ball. Could be <gasps> right. it's yeah. A lot of, a lot of, it's a lot of um, give on that, isn't it? There? there is a lot of bounce. Yeah. Oh, we should try that for my birthday. Yeah, we'll bring the birth ball where we to our for our travels. Reverse on top would be fine. Okay. That's a good one. Yep. Okay, we'll try that as well. Perfect. Watch this space. Watch this space. Right, so we have a message from a listener. From Cat, oh, Catty or Cathy? Katie. Katie with a, Katie with a Y, K-A-T-Y. Yeah, that's normal. Catty. What the from, hell, from, are you okay? From Kitty Catty. I was at home when my waters broke and I rang my mum and I rang my mum up straight away to tell her what was happening. She then rang my stepdad to tell him the big news. After 30 minutes, I got... <laughs> After 30 minutes later, I got a knock on the door. There was a plumber who was asking to come into my house as he'd been told by my stepdad that my water had broke. <laughs> Men! Exclamation oh mark. Oh my god. 
That is such a typical man thing to do. Oh, that poor plumber. That's something you would do. No, I know what water, water breaks me. No, Cam. That, that is dopey. Uh -huh. That is something right up your street. That poor plumber, though. <laughs> Imagine coming to, come to the door. He's got, his, ah! he's got his tool kit there. He's ready. He just sees this burst of water on the floor. What? Well, how much water is there when it happens? Not that much. No, I've quite a bit, I think. No, it's like you've pissed yourself. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Like a long piss. No. I've seen it on films. It's no, quite a bit. It wouldn't be him walking through the door to a, a, a leak. It would just be him walking to the door, <laughs> her screaming. It depends where she did it. She's done it by the front door. You wouldn't see it anyway. What colour is it? Clear. I don't know. I've never had my waters broken. I've pissed myself, but not had my waters broken. I have a lot of questions about the waters. Not now. I'm going to save these questions yeah. when we've got okay. someone on. Yeah. But I've got a lot of questions about the waters. Yeah. Like, is it smell? Was probably. It, smell like, it, smell like? it probably doesn't smell what, the what, best. What is it? Is it just piss? Where does it come from? Let's ask the plumber. So I've got one more surprise for you. Okay. Um, we've, we've, we've got some people coming in. So <laughs> Have we? For your party. Jax Taylor? Jax Taylor's not, not coming in, oh. sadly. Um, Lisa so, Vanderbilt? So, no, she couldn't make it. I did invite them all. I, but they're busy. Uh, so yeah, some people coming in for your birthday. Um, is it a stripper? <laughs> that would be good. We should have got a stripper. <laughs> is it actually? No, it's not a stripper. Oh. Uh, why would I want to watch a, a male stripper strip on you? Because it's my birthday. It's, birthdays aren't all it's about not about you. Birthdays aren't all about strippers. When I didn't have a birthday stripper on my birthday, did I? It's time to introduce your final birthday surprise. I thought we've had some. Of, we've had my mum on, you know, to tell my side of the story. You've not got my mum on. No, no, no. I thought we'd get your brothers on to tell your side of the story. So, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emily. Oh, Happy birthday to, to you. Yay for oh me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well this is really taking me by surprise, but this is my younger brother, Kieran, and this is my older brother, Alex. Hello. Uh, thanks for coming on, I guess. <laughs> well, thanks for having us. I just, wow. I just thought it'd be good to, you know, my mum's come on and told me embarrassing stories about me. Oh, right, um, so you're gonna, it's payback. We, we've had nothing from your side. And I, I thought it'd be better to do it than your really sweet, kind brothers. That's actually have so nothing true. But a good word to my say childhood's been very private. I think because my mum and dad have never really been a part of, you know, yeah. my social media presence. Well, mine was till last week, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice when people know. Oh, great. Well, guys, I hope, you know, you go kind in your sister since her birthday. Time to <laughs> roast Emily. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically your roast. This is a birthday roast. Okay. Oh, wait, should I blow the candles out? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, blow yeah, them out. Don't idea. forget to make a wish. Okay. It's a good cake, that. I wish my brothers go easy on me. <laughs> I love that smell. Get that smell in. So, where do we start, guys? I want to hear your your best memory of M from each of you. That's a hard one. Worst memory? Better. Oh, how long you got? Worst memory? <laughs> how long you got? Do you remember... When we went to Australia, yes, Sydney to Ellie Beach, yeah. that flight, that internal flight, mm -hmm. and do you remember that we nearly missed it also because someone didn't want to leave Bondi Beach, the only thing they wanted to do going halfway around the world? Bondi. So <laughs> nat naturally, we needed a bit of a pick-me-up, so we had a bit of a coffee, right? She goes to the loo. This one here sees an opportunity because he's a little bit bored and there's no in-flight system. Decides to was it throw away her, her sugar and a packet? You know the stir yeah, packet. Yeah, so the the lady came round and obviously took rubbish. Yeah. And I thought I'd just give away her stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's come back. I know, as Emily does, she goes from zero to hundred, doesn't yeah, she? Classic. Doesn't need hardly anything. No match near open flame. All of a sudden, looks at me and goes, <laughs> and this this is my impression of Emily. Guys, <laughs> where's my sugar? Like, seriously, he's not saying anything. <laughs> He's like trying to keep up with smoke. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this. Like, I, mean, I haven't got it. And she went, like, where is it? And she's literally throwing up all the tables, like without any consideration. I like sugar. She's looking for it. Kieran's anticipated and <laughs> moved his like gracefully. I'm not quite on the same wavelength, but she's looked at mine. Also, my my coffee, <laughs> which has its sugar in it, ready to go. I had a sip of it. Yeah, it goes everywhere. Yeah, well, if I can't have mine, you can't have yours. <laughs> Bl blaming me, saying I'm the one who's hit it. Obviously, he coughs up, basically says, no, it was me. Basically, she's in the wrong, right? Yeah. 
I can't believe you're still holding on to this grudge. You owe me a coffee. It's, it's the main sh- thing. It was a shitty airplane coffee. You owe me a coffee. And plus, you, you didn't say sorry. You made me cry that trip. You do own the coffee. Is that really think, your think, best think, memory think, of me? I think the lesson is... It's a worse memory. You can't oh. accept when you're in the wrong. Maybe that... Is that what I'm getting at? Because that's what I'm, what I'm hearing right here. No? She's just trying too hard to be main character. <laughs> she is. She's always been a main character. She is very Find main. That one funny, she Jake. is very. <laughs> she is very main. But character, this, so this yeah. is the thing. She's always been like this before she had any of this. She was like auditioning years and years and before. She like, was ready for this. You see, you were ready. Like there was no transition for you. The only thing that changed was the number of followers you got. Oh, oh. burn! That's a low blow. Oh. Is it? I think that's quite a compliment. I did. I didn't know her before. Actually, so. that is quite a compliment. Thank How many you. followers did you have before? Like five thousand. Probably one of my fave. It's probably a new story-ish because it's when you found your newfound fame. Um, we went for dinner. Um, where was it? It was Canary Wharf. It was in Canary Wharf. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. I took you for dinner. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so I was wearing this brand new corduroy shirt, which I think was pretty sick. To be honest, I bought two of them in the end. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So we uh, we had a nice-ish dinner, and then. Um, there was this person, we were really close to this table behind. And this, uh, was it a girl? It was no, a girl. It, was, it was a bloke, wasn't it? I think it was a girl for her boyfriend. And she got up and obviously she's turned around to our table and I'm my back's towards this person. And obviously I just see Cam and Emily's like, this is still fairly like quite fresh after mm. the Tilt to Handle. And obviously your eyes light up because you're expecting someone to come over and be like, oh my God, are you Emily and Cam from Tilt to Handle? And you're like, you guys are prepped and ready. You're like, oh my God, yes, I am. Um, I think I even put my drink down going, oh, yeah. fuck's sake, another one. <laughs> <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden she goes, taps me on the shoulder and goes, excuse me, can, oh, I just want to ask my boyfriend, like, where's your shirt from? He really likes it. And I'm just like, I look at everyone on the table and I'm just like, yeah. I t- obviously tell him where I can't remember where it's from now, but I tell him where it's from, and it was nice because I basically just stole the line. You did, I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we like nearly went to get up as well. It was yeah, quite, I think it, we it, did. It, yeah, it was icky. It yeah, was icky it was very us. icky. It oh, was. oh god, but yeah, you spotted us. I, I mean, it was, it was just a genuine mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'd be we, quite deflated really. from their behalf that yeah, they didn't they recognize us. Didn't, they hadn't watched two up the yeah. handle, so yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll try and plug that corduroy shirt. Yeah, yeah. Putting up the screen right here now. Should have worn it. Okay. First of all, what did you think about me going on the show? Well, I think the backstory of that is we are brothers of a fairly a fairly attractive sister. So all yeah. our lives we've had to grow up with the your fit sister. Jokes. Yeah. Your fit sister posts, even in the group chats, everything going in. If she wasn't your sister, would you shag her? Yeah, that sort of stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like classic, like in between us, like yeah. She was your sister, would you, yeah, but she's not your sister. Would you shag her? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, hardly that. any comebacks because as soon as you think of something, she would post something a bit more provocative on like Instagram or social yeah. media, oh. and they just throw that back in your face. Went, do you know what? It's best just to be silent and <laughs> yeah. leave the group chats <laughs> or leave the friendship group, make new friends because it, like I wouldn't tell. But I would purposely t- not tell people I had a sister. I know. I, this actually scarred me. <laughs> oh, sorry. For years. Think, think of the pain we had though. <laughs> For years, you wouldn't tell people you had a sister. I think that's so horrible. Oh, because I always knew they'd find a way. They'd find you somehow, some way. They did. Mm. They'd find you on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Or well. now, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, our relationship wasn't so good when you went on the show. Yeah. Bit of hindsight now. I look back and go, actually, you've done really, really well when you think about it. And for you. I was fairly impartial, to be fair. Yeah. Um, shock. Oh, shock horror. He has no opinion about anything. Just always baby been on the brother fence. vibes. Always been on the fence. Like, could, well, you pretty much flopped at most other jobs, right? So, <laughs> going on a TV show is a bit of a Hail Mary. Uh, no, actually, no. And that is that is the actual truth of it. You know, I was never good at anything. Never. Hey, I, can, hey. I can attest to that. Hairdressing. <laughs> oh, hey. I was six. Okay, yeah. When I was 60, I did an apprenticeship for hairdressing. The only benefit you had before you Netflix in, was yeah. your hairdressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, came yeah. in clutch during COVID. Yeah, I, you, I were did. you were great. Oh, yeah. You gave, you gave me and Kieran some ropey cuts. I did. <laughs> some ropey cuts. I mean, but. We, we both had fusies. You did. <laughs> Remember what fusies And you had a couple of perms. Yeah, you permed me. Alex, I actually did your hair for graduation. You did. It was very severe. But like you it. liked it at the time. You loved the undercut. I, I had to deal with it at the time, didn't I? At least you <laughs> had, had to, to like wear it. that ugly hat, so it covered it. The graduation. What did you wear for your graduation? <laughs> um, but I, you can try and dig me out, but look where we are now. That's true, I'm on your podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Also, here, here's a question for you. Flip on his head, welcome to our podcast. Go on. What was your impression of our dynamic when you came into our Oh, house? chaotic. 
I, <laughs> I'm, dynamic. I remember yeah, yeah. coming in and thinking this is all over the shop I was like you've all got this like inner kind of beef with each other and obviously like, my family are very close my brother and sisters we never really argued so I was like alright I'm just going to work away at one of you at the time started with him <laughs> Start with them. We used to go for jogs together at start, and I was like, "Hey, so what's, what's your beef with them?" I was like, yeah. "Okay." And I start, then I came to you when in Canada, but I think I brought brought the family together, you know. No, you definitely did, actually. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but as well, I think it's just getting older as well. You know, yeah, yeah. we've definitely got closer since being older. You're like, you're like the third brother we never had. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Four or else, four. That's for me. But I'm here now, baby. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Yes. So obviously, I really love living with her. Um, she's quite nitpicky. You said you're lying perfectly, by the way. Um, <laughs> it, it, was she like growing up? Was she like a bit like annoying, like quite annoying? Oh yeah, she thinks she can sing. Yeah, she does. She does. yeah, constantly. Have you not heard Whoa, our not jingle? Heard the jingle, mate. Yeah, I'm really glad you've changed that career, by the way. You've done really well. <laughs> thank you. Well, 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 <laughs> it's a really good like, jingle. Really yeah, good jingle. Thank you. Um, you, yeah, you should constantly have like Kiss or the Box on, didn't you? And I'd sing every song, and the joke was, "Oh, Emily, who sings that song?" Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, Destiny's Child." I want to try to keep it that way. Mm. Mm. It wasn't funny <coughs> every we still time. Li- we started little bands as well. Yeah, oh my god, performances. Well, yeah, I had the drums on the perfect. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've retired now. <laughs> I'm not going to be your front man. That is so funny. So sh- yeah, but I think I feel like as well, like. You know, you paid me out. To, you know, be annoying, or whatever. But you two weren't the nicest. You always singled me out. You were the only girl. Well, I, feel, I will say, you were in a house full of boys. You kept up. And, and I was telling to Kieran the other day, I was saying, fair, we grew up in a nice house, but we were sort of isolated from friends in a cul-de-sac. Mm. So we only had each other sort of to grow up with and play yeah. with, sort of kind of thing. Mm. Then we always kept up and always then we said was yes. Was it a and tomboy? Was, yeah, I was going to say, was yeah. she a tomboy? Alex made a good point. So we were, we're thinking of things, what we could say about Emily before this. And obviously we used to game a lot. And like Emily used to, again, like, try to join in. <laughs> well done, yeah. So this, do you remember GTA? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but Go. I would just drive around sensibly. Yeah. Boom, boom. She would take <laughs> our PlayStation, take our game, our console, right? And Kira and I would cube on the play button on it. And there is Emily driving around Vice City, <laughs> abiding by the law, <laughs> waiting, for, waiting for traffic lights <laughs> to actually turn, oh. waiting for pedestrians <laughs> to cross. I'm like, Emily, you're meant to run them over. Like, you have a gun. That's like, you know you have a rocket launcher, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is the most ironic thing. She is the worst driver in the world. Yeah, thank you, thank so you. So you've that, never learned. You. That was actually one of my questions, how to rate my driving, one to ten. Awful. That Fiat 500, I, I had oh, for years. And... So many dents. Anywhere to park your spot for you. Tickets yeah, galore. Duh. Tickets. Oh, many tickets. yeah, your mum's dad with a lot of tickets. Did you guys think I would be the first one to have a child first? Yeah. <laughs> what bloody hell, right? Don't well, take, don't, take a breath. She, you've always, she's always said, and she, she's yeah, like, you, about you, you're the one who's been most vocal about having kids. Yeah. Out of two, well, three of us. Yeah. 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 You, you reckon I was yeah, always probably. Yeah. yeah. But did you think that you'd, you'd, she'd have one with such a fucking hunk? Fucking hunk. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to quote, <laughs> fucking hunk. <laughs> fucking fun, just all round a hunk of a guy. Could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have been, been a lot worse. worse. Baby daddy. There yeah. could have been a lot worse, baby daddies. Right, so I've had enough of the roasting, to be quite honest, guys. Um, let's do a little quiz to see which brother knows me better. My plan, too. You can play, yeah. I'm your brother. Okay. Is there a theme tune? Now we're talking brothers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What was my first job? Kid Zone. We did it together. We did do it oh, together. Oh, did you? I didn't yeah. realise that. What so she, yeah, she got a job first, and then I'm pretty sure Dad got me the job next. Yeah. Kid zone. Yeah. Kid zone. Kid zone. Playing with the kids. Kid zone. It's quite self-explanatory, really. It was just a zone for kids. It was an indoor <laughs> soft play it area. Was. Yeah, it was a an indoor soft play. Perfect place to wear out your kids when you're yeah. a parent. Wasn't yeah, it? You I, I actually, I'm gutted, gutted it's closed down because I would love to take. Oh, is it like there. a wacky warehouse vibe? Yeah, exactly. wacky like warehouse. It's got slides. It's got climbing frames. It's got like. Um, ball pits. Stinky, ball pits. stinky, sweaty ball pits. Yeah. Mm. And I remember every time a kid would throw up, we would literally just get blue paper towel and just wipe no. it, wouldn't it? It was so oh, disgusting. You wouldn't wash all the balls? No, no one would tell. No one would be like, Fucking you don't care. Grim. The, your bosses would literally be like, don't care, just get some blue towel and wipe it. Do you remember having to take the Henry the Hoover around the climbing frame to Hoover the yeah, whole... Oh. Like, it was like three stories and it was massive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, then I'd have to host all their kid parties and they were just so... Loud and annoying, Ooh, but honest then I, work. I'd, I'd, but I'd always steal the food. I always keep some of the food back nice. for me. You'd, you'd love it. The I chicken nuggets that. and the chips. Like, like the bird. amount of sweets like under the um, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, was, oh the yeah, huge the like tub loads of sweets. Mm. Oh, it was great. It's a great job. What is my biggest pet hate? 
Oh my god, there's so many. When you think there's about it, lot. do you remember her overreaction to when anyone would sneeze? Actually. Bingo! Oh, yeah. Bingo! <laughs> that was the answer. Open the window. Ow! Ow! Oh no! <laughs> it's germs. I don't like germs. I, I mean, used to purposely then put her in the middle seat of the back of the car, <laughs> so when we would mm. sneeze, she couldn't go. To the it's window. disgusting. She still got it. She's, you're all right with me sneezing, though. Yeah, I'm fine. And the only person she tolerates is me yeah. sneezing. That really. is true. Thank you very much both for coming in. It's been yeah, a lovely thank, surprise thanks, for I us. Guess. Thank you for having us. No, cheers. What cheers a lovely birthday us. surprise. This was lovely. I feel like these two were a lot more harsh than my mum was. My mum was probably a bit more kinder. Uh, but, yeah. but, you but know, listen, that's brothers. we're siblings. Brothers, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. What would you expect? Brotherly but love. No, thanks for surprising me for my birthday. No I'd worries. like to say it's the best surprise I've ever had, but I'd be lying. Here's to your 30th. Yeah, 30s. Thirsty 30s. 30, flirty and thriving. I'm the only one still in my 20s. God, flying the flag. So, guys, if you want to write into the podcast, if you want any advice, if you want to give us a horror story, a funny story, anything you want, either message or us. Or if you've got any hormones, remember. Or any hormones, message us on Instagram or TikTok at Now We're Talking Baby, or you can email us at nwtb at jampopproductions.co.uk. That is November Aww. Whiskey. November Whiskey Tango Bravo at jampopproductions.co.uk. Thank you. Peace. And happy yeah. birthday. Now we're talking better.